What is going on, Fantasy Alarm Nation? Justin Fenster, we're back with you, and you know what time it is. It's that time of the week again, Fantasy Baseball Stock Watch. Let's talk about some of the trendy players when it comes to our fantasy baseball teams. Some that are trending up while others are trending down. Let's talk about their production potential and hit the marketplace hard and talk about who is on this week's Stock Watch on FantasyAlarm.com. First, a few players on the rise. Let's start with Harold Ramirez. Ramirez has been one of the strongest hitters for the Rays this season, hitting 317, and he ranks third on the team in RBIs with 29. By the end of May, Ramirez was hitting 270, and his batting average has risen 47 points since June 1st. He's posted five multi-hit outings in his last seven games, and he scored runs in most of those contests during that span. He's posted RBIs in three of his last five outings. Ramirez has been a lot more disciplined at the plate this season, as we've seen his walk rate increase by 2.5%, and he's striking out less than he did a year ago. His on-base percentage has also improved 60 points since 2021. After this series against the Red Sox, the Rays go to Cincinnati and play in the very hitter-friendly Great American Ballpark. Up next, Christopher Morell. In the last month of action, no Cub has produced more runs, home runs, and RBIs than Morell. He's hitting two seventy two for the year and even leads the Cubs in stolen bases along with Nico Horner. The Cubs rookie has a 41% hard hit rate and an exit velocity of about 89 he has an above 9% walk rate as well. He's produced RBIs in four of his last seven contests and homered three times during that span. He's hit the ball in 10 of his last 13 battles. He's crossed the plate 31 times this season since being called up in the middle of May. The Cubs have been a top 10 hitting team this season, and Morell has been toggling between leading off and hitting at the bottom of the Cubs lineup. Also on the rise, Logan Gilbert. The only pitchers to post more wins than Gilbert are Justin Verlander and Tony Gonsolin. Gilbert has struck out six or more batters in four of his last six starts. He surrendered more than three earned runs in just two starts this year. We saw Gilbert improve between May and June as he didn't allow as many walks in the month of June. He's battled teams such as the Twins, Blue Jays, Red Sox, and Astros, and they didn't rough him up. Gilbert has a 2.66 ERA. Hitters are hitting 227 against Gilbert this year, which is an improvement from last year when batters were hitting 241 against him. His next matchup against the Padres won't be easy, but then things should get easier if he gets to face the Nationals next series. Now for some players trending down. Let's start with Joey Votto. Votto is a career 299 hitter, and he's hitting just 210 this year in a very advantageous ballpark for hitters. He hit 266 last season. Votto has posted three, just three RBIs since June 10th and has gone yard just once during that time. In fact, Votto's home run rate has dropped from 6.8% in 2021 to 2.4% this season. Disastrous. His strikeout rate is at a career high 25.3% and he's not walking as much as he did a year ago. He hasn't hit the ball in his last four contests. Votto's hard hit rate has also dropped over 13% since 2021. He's just not the same hitter at the plate, and even his on-base percentage is currently a career-worst 332. Also spiraling downward, Josh Donaldson, another seasoned decade-plus veteran who has seen better seasons, is in fact Donaldson like Votto. Even though the Yankees are dominating, the former AL MVP hasn't been getting on base as much and his batting average has dropped over 20 points since last season. Since May 17th, Donaldson has hit just one home run. He struck out about 5% more than he did last year and we've seen Donaldson walk less and his hard hit rate and exit velocity have certainly taken a hit as well. He's hitting 175 in the last two weeks. The Yankees have been one of the most powerful teams, but Donaldson has been adding much, and even Jose Trevino, who has 80 fewer at-bats than him, has outproduced Donaldson when it comes to home runs and runs batted in. Final player sliding, Sean Manaya. Manaya has a career ERA of 3.9, and he's currently sitting with a 4.18 earned run average. He's allowed four or more earned runs in two of his last four starts. His strikeout numbers have been a bit all over the place. It's encouraging that he resides in a pitcher-friendly Petco Park. His strikeout rate has dropped a touch, but it's his walk rate that's alarming because it's risen over 4% since last season. He currently has the second highest whip of his career. He's walking 3.6 batters per nine innings. The walks are just crushing him. He's been more productive on the road than at home this year as well. 
And that is the latest fantasy baseball stock watch, FA Nation. As always, keep it locked into fantasyalarm.com. We've got you covered. You're about halfway there, but we still have a long second half of the season to cover and dominate. Let's do it all together and win together, just like a family should. Good luck.